Today we will be looking at a bourbon that gets a little bit of mixed reviews online and some various strong feelings in both directions. Today we are cracking open Widow Jane 10 Year. We are cracked, we are open, we have the Widow Jane poured in a carn, and we're ready to go. Um, a couple of notes about Widow Jane. So this is bottled and proofed in New York. However, it is Kentucky bourbon. It's sourced from uh, an as yet unnamed distillery, and it is proofed down with pure limestone mineral water from some fancy spring in New York. And that's kind of an interesting idea. Um, it gets proofed down to 45.5%, uh, 91 proof. And there are those online you might see who are very much a fan of this idea of proofing it down with this limestone water and think that it brings quite a unique flavor and uh, character to the bourbon. I don't know, today's my first time. This was given to me as a gift a uh, friend told me that he enjoyed it very, very much and had to get me a bottle so that I could review it on the channel. So Justin, thank you very much, my good friend. Um, always good to hang out. Can't wait to see you again, bud. Um, all right, we are poured. We've got our Widow Jane 10 year. We've got it in a car in here. Let's take a, let's take a peek at that color, right? It is a, it is quite a beautiful color. I do like that very much. Um, nice, dark, rich color, very inviting. Very even throughout, beautiful colored bourbon. Um, I don't know that they if they use coloring or not. Doesn't look that way. But then again, I got fooled by the Dalmore once. Don't tell anybody. You know, somebody told me I should get like a stand to put the bottle on. Like, no, oh, have a have a have the bottle like right here next to you while you're while you're drinking and tasting. And I was like, I'm not trying to run a professional operation here. What are you, what are you doing? All right. Friends, Widow Jane, let's uh, let's get it on the nose. This is one of the most classic bourbon noses. It is right down, this is coloring within the numbers for a bourbon. You get a little bit of that oak char, a little bit of wood. Um, you get a little bit of vanilla. Maybe a touch of Maybe a touch of like Raisinets candy. A fairly sweet nose. Um, no ethanol really hitting you at 91 proof. Pleasant though. Very, very pleasant, very inviting nose. Very classic bourbon. Yeah. That would be very difficult to pick out in like a blind nose with, you know, a flight of five or six bourbons. You'd be like, oh, that one's Widow Jane. Or it's one of 73 other bourbons. Very classic, nothing wrong with that. I like the classic bourbon nose. Yeah, right down the, right down the middle, it's all the pins. All right, let's give it a taste. Let's launch it. Hmm, what is that? That soap. So the palate. It's a weird soap. It's a clean car. There's a. Okay, let me talk about the palate because I am getting, again, kind of some very specific bourbon notes. That vanilla is there. Um, touch of sweetness, you do get some oak, you get some char, um, a little pepper, black pepper, like very specifically black pepper. The, the finish is strange. It's like soap. 
give me a second. I might have a effed up corn here. A few moments later. All right, guys, fresh corn. I might not have just rinsed that corn well enough. I don't know. You ever do that? I've done that several times. My wife, don't tell her. She doesn't watch my videos. My wife cleaned one of my favorite tumblers. I wasn't even drinking out of a car and just enjoying it out of like a regular rocks glass with no rocks. I was having a, uh, I think I was having Johnny Walker um, one night and I tell you, like that, yeah, it 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 it's soap, it's soap. But my wife was, I guess, getting me for, you know, cussing too much, I don't know. Um, let's see here, friends. Mm. It's still there. It's absolutely still there. There's a soapy uh, astringency right at the end there. So again, on the palate, we got some black pepper. We get a little bit of classic bourbon flavors, but also a weird finish. Um, it got, it kind of hits you like a flare up. Okay, hits you with some hits you with some heat. So it flares up and then goes away, and then you're left with this very odd soapy uh, soapy quality I don't I don't know how else to describe it I'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry I'm a little bit surprised well shit that is soap <laughs> yeah it's that weird tangy bitterness of soap if you ever forgotten the old mouth washed out treatment that is exactly what that is holy smokes guys can't do that. Nope. Now we do it. Is it slap your mama good? No. Nope. No. It is not slap your mama good. Um, it's not. It's barely good. I don't. The palate is fine. The nose is fairly lovely. That finish is going to be really difficult to overlook if you're trying to just enjoy something. Um, I guess maybe on ice. Throw it on ice. Throw it on ice like a like a savage, I guess. I don't know. Just kidding. If you like ice, like your ice, it's fine. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. Nope. Widow Jane, limestone water distilled and sourced Kentucky bourbon. Cool idea. Doesn't quite hit it on the execution. I don't know. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, it is, it's still there. That does not get more pleasant as time goes on. Guys, we've been hitting some strikeouts here lately. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Um, but, you know, the point of this is to maybe give you some notes, give you some ideas, give you what I'm experiencing, and maybe um, save you from buying something that you will not enjoy or turn you on to something that maybe you haven't had before. So that's always my goal. Um, for Widow Jane, I wouldn't buy this myself. So, um, at your own risk, it is a little pricey for a sourced whiskey uh, to come in around that $70 range. That's, um, it's a lot. It's a lot, right? Uh, when you can get McKenna bottle and bond for, God, what, is it? what did I get? 45 is my local area. You might be different. Um, but that's what I would go with. This, if you're looking for that classic bourbon flavor, you want a little bit of age, um, and you know, if you even like a higher proof, you got that bottom and bond, I would suggest if you were thinking about Widow Jane, unless you just gotta try it, I understand that. Unless you just have to try that Widow Jane, I'd probably steer you over to the McKenna 10 year bottle and bond. One of my favorite, um, very affordable bourbons. And I've reviewed that as well. Um, you can have a peek at that somewhere in the neighborhood of my dome. You will find a link to yet another video. That is it today. Thank you so very, very much. For, uh, for joining us. This has been fun, although a little disappointing. I will see you on the next video. If this is your first time here though, before you go, you know what you gotta do. I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It would mean a whole hell of a lot. And uh, yeah, let's get a, we'll get a better one next time, hopefully. Um, uh, actually, on the next video, we're gonna be talking about knives. So if you're into knives, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out the next one. Really appreciate you coming in and watching the video today. I know you have a lot of choices out there for your entertainment pleasure. And I am here to uh, educate and enjoy whiskey with you. Until next time, um, to good friends and good spirits, 
This is not really one of them, but slideshow.